I am going to solve this problem 154. In this problem, it is said that the motor mounted on the bracket is acted on its 160 Newton weight. So this motor has 160 Newton weight, which is acting vertically downward in the negative Z direction. And its shaft resists the 120 Newton thrust and 25 Newton meter couple applied to it, right? So this shaft resists this 120 Newton force and this couple, right? So it is said that determine the resultant of the force system shown in terms of a force R at A and couple M, right? So we need to replace these uh, force and this wrench by a force couple system at this point O, right? So this is wrench. And this is if we curl our right hand fingers in this direction, so our thumb will point out in the direction opposite to this 120 Newton force. So this means that here is the negative wrench, right? So this is negative wrench since both the couple and the resultant has the opposite direction, right? So this motor is subjected to one wrench and one this 60 Newton force. So what we will do is that we will find the force couple system at this point O. So let's suppose if I want to find the resultant, so the resultant our X component will be equal to the magnitude of the rx will be equal to so as we can see that only this 120 newton force is acting in the negative x direction right so the summation of all forces along x and it is equal to 120 newton and it is acting in the negative x direction so we will write minus i right and this is that our x component vector right and now if you want to find our y vector the resultant component along the y axis is so as we can see that there is no force in the y direction right so the summation of forces along y is equal to zero and similarly if you want to find the rz component of the resultant so it will be equal to the summation of all forces along z and we have only this weight in the negative z direction right so we can write it like this so it will be minus 160 k right so if we want to write the r vector, so it will be minus 120i minus 160k, right? So this is that resultant vector. And to replace these uh, force, this force and this wrench by a force couple system, so we have to find the moment at this point O, right? So the moment uh, at that point A, right? So the component of the moment along the x-axis is will be equal to so this will be equal to if we look into these uh, forces from this direction right so this 120 newton force is parallel to the x-axis so it will not produce any moment and this 160 newton force is producing the moment about x and this will be the direction of that moment and the magnitude of that moment will be 160 into the perpendicular distance. So this is the perpendicular distance of this 160 Newton from this x axis is right. So it is 200 divided by 1000. So it will be 0.2 meters. Right. And this is the direction of this moment. So if we curl our right hand fingers. So our thumb will point out in the negative z direction, uh, negative x direction. Right. So I will write minus i. And as we can see that this 25 Newton meter couple is also about X axis is right uh, along the X axis. Is if we curl our right hand finger, so the thumb will point out in this direction, right in the positive X direction. So what we will do is that we will write, we will add that moment as well. So that moment is plus 25 Newton meter. And this 25 Newton meter uh, moment is also along I, so we can write it like this as well. Or we can take I common as well, so we can write it like this. So this will be the total moment along the X axis, is right? So I will solve it a bit later. Now to find the component of the moment at point A along Y. So we will observe these forces from this direction, right? So this is that 120 Newton force and this 120 Newton force has some perpendicular distance from this y axis is, as we can see that this x and this y axis is, is 75 mm from this point from the ground of this plate right so if I write that this distance is 75 mm right 
and this shaft is at a distance of 100 mm right so this is 100 mm so this means that this 120 newton force has a distance of 100 minus 75 25 mm distance 100 minus 75 mm which is 25 mm so this means that this 120 newton force has a 25 mm distance from this y axis is right so if we write that magnitude so it will be 120 into 100 minus 75 which is 25 and 25 divided by 1000 will be 0 0.025 in meters right and what will be the moment direction so if, if we look into this force this 120 newton force from this direction so it will produce the moment in this direction and if we curl our right hand finger so the thumb will point out in the negative y direction right so i will write minus j with it and similarly if we look into this 160 newton force from this direction so this is also producing the moment about y axis is since it has this 75 mm distance perpendicular distance from this y axis is right so if i write and what will be the direction of that moment so this moment will produce the this force will produce the moment in this direction and if we curl our right hand fingers in this direction so the thumb will point out in the positive y direction right so this is positive and the magnitude will be 160 multiply by this 75 mm so it will be 75 divided by 1000 so it will be 0 0.075 and this is along j right so we can write it like this so this will be j and we can remove it right so we will find this component a bit later as well right now we want to find the component of the moment at point a along the z axis right so this will be equal to so now we will observe these forces from this direction from the z direction towards the negative z right so now let me remove these first right so now as we can see that this 160 newton force is parallel to the z axis so it will not produce any moment about z so only this 120 newton force is producing the moment about z and it has one it has 200 mm distance from the z axis is right so this line this line of action of this force has 200 mm of distance from the z axis is right so this is that perpendicular distance so i will write 120 into 200 so 200 divided by 1000 will be 0.2 right it will be in meters and what will be the direction of the moment produced due to this 120 newton force so this will be the direction of that moment right so this 120 newton will try to rotate this uh, whole motor or this bracket in this direction right along this direction so if we curl our right hand fingers in this direction so the thumb will point out along the positive z direction so we will write plus k so if i solve these uh, so we will get the three components of the moment at point A. So when we solve all these, so we get uh, MA along X is equal to minus 7 I and this is plus 9 J and this is 24 K. Now if you want to write the moment vector at point A, so this will be equal to minus 7 I plus 9 J plus 24k right so this is the moment vector at point a and this is the resultant at point a so this is the solution of this problem